Hey there, everybody. This is Charles from The Gamer Infinity, welcoming you to Let's Play Castlevania. Last time, well, there wasn't a last time, this is the first episode. Durr. But anyway, uh, if we're going to be playing Castlevania for the NES, this game is hard. Alright, I'm just going to come out and say this game is really hard. Okay? It's really hard. As you can see by jumping beans and whatnot, but, uh, yeah, so basically I'm going to be trying to complete this game the most badass way possible, Simon Belmont. So you might be wondering, what's a deep, intriguing storyline of Castlevania? Well, basically, there's this dick named Dracula, and he's like, yeah, I'm Dracula, I'm a vampire. And you're and you're this guy named Simon Belmont, and you're just trolling, or, trolling along. Yeah. And you, you come across this whip that your family passed down to you. And, uh... It's just like, kind of like, oh, you need to go kill Dracula, because that's what we do, because you're a Belmont. And Belmonts are vampire hunters. That's what they do. That's like their bread and butter right there. Hunting vampires and eating bread and butter. They love it. Almost as much as they love pork chops, but I'll get into that later. But basically, you just whip along. Basically, A button is the whip button, the B is the jump. I think could be wrong. It might be the other way around. I have my control set up weird. Pretty sure it's A, B. And then A, B! Yeah, look, we got some reach there. And anyway, you notice that I had the dagger there. I didn't really show it, but I'm sure I'll get it eventually. But here we have the holy water. You can throw it down and myrtleize people with it. But yeah, pretty much. Like, there you go. Nice wall of death. The flame stays there for a few seconds, and it continues to damage enemies, so it's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. If I do say so, I'm say you. I am Simon, this is awesome. Doodle -doo. Yeah, you gotta watch out there, because the little zombies there, they can hit you while you go up the stairs. It's kind of a pain in the ass, but until you do this! That was a rosary, and it uh, kills everything on the screen. Excluding bosses, of course, although... To be quite fair, I've never used a rosary in a boss fight, because there aren't any, to my knowledge. Anyway, there are secrets in Castlevania, like this nice wall meat. I know you're thinking, man, I'm hungry. I'm just going to whip these walls, get some pork chops, or whatever they're called. I believe it's pork chops in this one. I believe later games like Tasty Meat or something like that. I think these, these are fishmen. I believe they can use, like... Fireballs, maybe. They're more deadly because they just like jump up out of the water and they can hit you like there. Do 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 do. I'm so scared. Oh yeah, you like that business? I don't even know what's going on there, so I don't know. Just get out of here. But they're bats. They fly in a very straight line and they can go up and down. It's not that big a deal. And you can go back down that way if you'd like. I don't know why you would, but hey, I don't. I don't know you. I don't know how you play, Rosary. I don't know your life. I don't know what you do's. Anyway, playing Castlevania, crazy thriller zombies running around, slash them in the face. Now we got like some kind of like holy tincture or whatever. I, I, I can't remember what this one's called, but it basically makes you invincible for a few seconds. Not that useful, honestly, but... I mean, hey. It's something. And now we got some axes, which, uh... kind of arch upwards and make this boss fight really easy. And we win! And for beating the boss, we get a red gem, which I'm, I'm not sure what it does. Honestly, I think it's like some sort of gem necessary to beat Dracula. That's the only... No, because Dracula drops one. I don't know what it's for. It's weird. Why, game? Ice tea break. Let's do this. Map. Ah, refreshing. Change of music. Let's go. Mm-mm-mm. Ice tea. Anyway, so we have some new enemies here. We got this uh, night guy, so we throw our new weapon, the the cross, also known as the retro boomerang. So if you step in here after breaking that wall, you get a crown, which makes Simon powerful. Well, actually, it just gives you points, but you know what? 
The man can dream, can he? I like to think that the points give him power. Power to the players. No, that's that's something else. So basically, you can kind of like... Throw that at a him. At a him. I'm Italian now, did I mention? I'm gonna throw that at a him. My name's Ezio Auditore. I'm a sexy muff. No, that's... That's not how Italians talk. <laughs> They talk like, it's -a me, Mario! That was a horrible Mario impersonation. It's -a me, Luigi. Luigi. Luigi has such a weird voice now, ever since Brawl. It's like, it's -a Luigi. No! Damn! So I have the dagger, although begrudgingly, because I hate the dagger. It takes three hits to kill that guy with the dagger. Boomerang would have made this level so much easier, but I'm a retard, I forgot. So let's con let's continue on. Here we got, uh, Medusas. And I just got really lucky there, because usually they will hit you and knock you off. And will not let you collect hearts. Yeah, these guys aren't too hard, you just hit them with your, uh... With your boomerang, or your whip. My boomer whip. My boomer... Wanger. No. That's something else. I keep zoning out here. Oh, we get some meat. Awesome. I love meat. I love it in my mouth. Unless, of course, it's horse meat. No. Damn it, Zooty Suit. No! That doesn't help me at all. And I dropped like a retard. Let's continue on. Oh, it seems like one of those things that you could just walk onto, but it's not. Did I just, like, do a backwards jump? That was pretty awesome. I don't even want to, like, try to attempt it again, because it was just so awesome. This one actually does go all the way, though, so you can just kind of, like... No! Ugh! No, it doesn't work. Alright, now we're coming up on a really hard part. I remember this from Castlevania HD. So basically, you can come over here and hit this. Get a nice pork. These things are one-hit kills, too, so watch out for that. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. Skill. Walking through stuff. These guys are assholes. Bats. There we go. And we got it two times. I don't know what that's going to do. Yeah, if you have the, the watch or something that doesn't use the two times. Or the, uh... I don't know why I call it the two times. The, uh... The double usage or whatever. If you have something that doesn't use it, it just gives you points. Oh, you jerk. There you go, now you're dead. Who the hell designed this place? Let's get the hell out of here. Alright, let's see if I can hit this. And money. Awesome. Hearts. Hearts. Medusa. It's like some kind of new duck duck goose. Except you die. Oh, for boss time. Against Medusa. And I cheated. <laughs> so, yeah, you could use the uh, time stop to just keep her in place and keep wailing away at her. It's actually not that bad a plan, really. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah. And we go on to the next level. This is actually some pretty awesome music, but that will have to wait till next time. On Let's Play Castlevania, this has been Millennium Jester signing out. Have a nice day.